Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, today I figured I'd try something a little different. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a lesson for the Earth Song, A Bureaucratic Desire for Revenge, Part 1. The reason I made this lesson is because I wanted to know how to play it, and uh, there's really no tabs or, or videos or any sort of suggestions on how to go about playing this song. So I sat down and listened to it over and over and tried to figure it out myself, and this is what I came up with. So if parts are wrong, you can blame that on my ear, I guess. So first thing you need to know is that baritone tuned, which means you have to tune your guitar from B to B. B, E, A, D, F sharp, and B. So uh, depending on what kind of guitar you have, this is just a 25 and a half inch scale, I believe. It's just a Yamaha but I'm pretty sure it's 25 and a half inch scale. It, it does okay with this tuning as long as you go thicker strings. I believe this is a set of 12s. So 12 to 56 or 58 or something. It does okay, uh, but really a baritone guitar I think would be a lot better. But it'll work for what we're, what we're doing today. The only other thing you need to know is that it takes a, a really high gain tone to uh, perform this. Uh, right now I'm running through my Sun Model T preamp pedal that I built and I'm boosting that with a Rat Clone that I built. So it's, it's pretty uh, extreme and this is what it sounds like. As you can hear, I've got quite a bit of buzz, but that's that comes with the territory of game like this. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough, let's get to the song. So really the song can be broken down into, I believe, four riffs. They're just played, you know, over and over and over again. Uh, the first riff, I'll play it for you, and then uh, see if I can break it down. <laughs> So that's the riff, and it will repeat, I, I don't know how many times, I never really counted. Uh, but it will repeat quite often. And so all you have to do is this. Slide up to 7th fret of the B string, low B. Actually, you know what, I'll just call these strings what they are in standard. So on the low E, you're going to slide up to the 7th fret. Then on the A string, you're going to go 8-7. Uh, and then slide down to uh, the 4th fret of the A string. Hammer on to 5, pull off to 4. And then 5 on the low E. So all together that little line goes like this. And then you kind of slide out of the, the 5th fret low E until you get to the open E chord. And by open E I mean uh, E power chord basically. Although in this case it's a B, but I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm just going to call it what it is in standard. So, uh, E power chord, which is uh, open low E, second fret, A and D strings. But you're just going to uh, palm mute that twice. And then you're going to go to the F sharp power chord, which is second fret low E and uh, fourth fret A and D strings, like so. So it's just going to go like this. And then 
while that F sharp chord is ringing out, you're just going to slide uh, on the low E only up to the 8th fret and then back down to the F sharp chord, like so. And then the whole riff repeats, so it will sound like this. repeat quite a bit. I, like I said, I didn't count how many times, but it will repeat a lot. So let's uh, move on to the next riff. So the next riff is, um, I mean the whole song is not very difficult. So I'll just show you what it sounds like and then I'll break it down for you. So really I played it twice there, but it's just uh, palm muting and then big open power chords. So uh, it starts on the G power chord, which is 3rd uh, fret low E, 5th fret A and D. You're just going to palm mute that three times. Now you could also, after that, just go to the E power chord if you find it easier. But I think it sounds more like they're going from here to the E up here, which is 7th um, uh, fret on the A string and ninth fret on the D and G strings, and you're adding an extra 7th fret on the low E, like so. So it'll sound like this. And at this type of gain level, this it's hard to tell the difference between those two, but I'll just play them both side by side so you can hear. So you can use either one, but I like to use the upper one. So again, play that sequence again. And then it's going to be a power chord on the 6th fret, low E, and 8th fret, D, uh, A and D strings. You just palm mute it once and then let it ring. And then repeat the whole sequence. So that's uh, riff number two. Uh, moving along. Alright, so riff number three is going to be basically the main riff of the song and you'll probably be playing this one the longest but uh, yeah I'll uh, play it through and explain it
So as you can see, it doesn't involve a lot of movement. It's just, uh, it is what it is, I guess. So <clears throat> you're going to start with uh, two open low E palm mutes. And the whole thing is going to take place in the 7th fret to 9th fret area um, ish. So you're going to go to the 7th fret A string with your middle finger. With your first finger, go to the 6th fret A string and play the bottom three strings together. Then add your third finger onto the 7th fret A string. So all together. And then three more palm mutes. And then do that again. Two more palm mutes. One more time. Three palm mutes. And then you're gonna make a power chord on 7th fret A string and 9th fret D string. I do that with my pinky finger just to keep my fingers all in the same position. So all together we have this so far. So the next part will go uh, two open palm mutes, and this time you go from the seventh fret A string or seventh fret D string, sorry, to the sixth fret D string by uh, just lifting your finger off like so. Three palm mutes, and pull off again. And then for the last hit, you're just going to go open low E string with the 7th fret A string together. It's just like playing an octave here. So, all together, you should have this. repeat quite often so get used to that riff. <laughs> uh, moving along. So between the third riff and the last riff there's a very short transition and I'll try to play that for you now but it comes off of this So it's something like that. It it start you leave off on the seventh fret A string with the low E, and then you kind of go from the seventh fret to the uh, fifth fret with the low the low E will ring through all of this. Go to the eighth fret A string, back to the fifth, back to the seventh, and then down to the second fret. So all together, it should sound something similar to this. <clears throat> and that may not be exact, uh, but if you listen to it, you can hear which frets he's going to. So just. Uh, Take a listen, try that, and if that's not quite it, it's close. <laughs> so, sorry about that buzz, guys. It's a little difficult. But anyway, um, the last riff of the song. It's uh, another, like the whole song is very simple, but it should sound like this. So 
as you can see, it's another one that doesn't really require much movement. So it's going to be the E power chord on the A string. So 7th fret A, 9th fret D, with the low E uh, ringing as a drone. But you're just going to, you're going to palm mute the low E three times. And then you're going to take that power chord shape with the low E. And then with your third finger, pull off to the seventh fret on the D string. And then hammer back on to the ninth fret. Or you could uh, pull off and then hit it again. And then just uh, kind of hit the low two or three strings open. And then go to the uh, eighth fret A string, tenth fret D string. And slide down one fret. So something similar to that anyway. But that's it for the song. It's like a seven and a half minute song or eight minute song, something like that. And it only uses those four riffs. And it uses riff number three in particular, the longest I believe. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy that song. Um, it was fun for me to sort of well, at least I hope I figured out how to play it. I hope I'm really close to uh, what it actually is. Uh, let me know how I did in the comments, guys. I don't know whether you're into this sort of genre or whatever, but I love that EP in particular. So I may try to do um, the Bureaucratic Desire for Revenge Part 2 and possibly even Ouroboros is Broken, if I can figure those out as well. Um, but yeah. I, I enjoyed this. I, I think I did fairly well. And I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.